Look at the six images on the left side here. These are actually AI generated. Look at the six images on the right side. These are my actual product photography pictures that I use on my own listing. And if you compare the two, you can see that the AI images are almost as good as the real product photography. And in fact, in some ways, they might be a little bit better. I'm going to show you the prompts that I use to create these images. And if you stick around, I'll give you those prompts for free. I'm also going to go through some of the limitations and tips that you need to keep in mind as you adjust the templates that I provide to suit your product needs. My name is Azane and I'm from Salametrics. We spend over $3 million every single month on PPC, scaling Amazon businesses from six figures to seven figures. And we're constantly testing new strategies and tactics and tools. And this is one of the strategies that we use for our own clients that I'm going to share with you. So let's just jump right into the template of the prompts. All right. As you can see here, we'll need uh, the three different styles that we typically have for any listing. That's the hero image, the lifestyle, and the infographic. So for the hero image, it's actually the easiest one by far because it's just a very simple product um, on a white image. So create a one-to-one -one square format hero image for a, and this is where you would enter your product type and name, measuring the dimensions of your product intended for use on an e-commerce marketplace. The product must be displayed on a pure white background, include the RGB or hex code of the color white. And if you were including your brand colors, you can do that. Occupying at least 85% of the frame to ensure maximum visibility and compliance with platform standards. The scene should show the product and then you can uh, adjust add in some props and features for your hero image and may include uh, the props in as mentioned if they enhance contextual relevance without distracting from the core item indicate whether the composition should include a model's hand interacting with the product so this is you indicating whether it should actually include like a hand using it like maybe if someone picking something out of a jar something like that right you might want to show the hand the image must be professionally styled and lit with true to life color size and proportions preserved no text logos packaging unless it's part of the product or extraneous graphic elements are allowed the final output should present the product in a premium clear and conversion focused manner so that's the template now obviously you have to take this template and use it for your product so i will show you what it looks like in chat gpt you do need reference images uh, to give chat GPT so it knows your product, especially if your product is like a, a very odd shaped thing. Um, the more simple the shape, the better it does a job of recreating it. And the reference picture doesn't have to be done with a professional camera. I actually took all of these with my phone. The image that you see here on the screen right here is actually literally taken from my phone and I will show you the setup real quickly. So this, this is the picture that I took with my phone. It's a black watch box. So I found some styrofoam to use as the base. So the black could, uh, didn't blend in with the table. And then I literally threw this product into Canva and just got rid of the background. And obviously I did the same thing with the product packaging. Um, and then I uploaded it to chat GPT and I modified the, the template I just said to this so that you can do the same, create a one-on-one -on -one square format hero image for a watch box as attached in the images, measuring eight inches by 7.3 inches as the base with the front of the box having 3.3 inches height and the back of the box having a five inch height intended for use on the Amazon marketplace. Please use the image attached to this prompt as a reference for the exact product image you must generate. The product must be displayed on a pure white background, occupying at least 85% of the frame and the rest is exactly like the uh, template. So I'm not going to go into that except for this. The scene should show the product with complementary items such as a Rolex, Cartier or Omega watch and may include a gift bow on the product packaging if they enhances the contextual relevance without distracting from the core item. And then the last text is not changed at all from the template. And this is what I got. It's not bad, huh? Like this is a legitimately useful image for the hero image on Amazon. You know, it is missing some some things like uh, you can tell like the fine details on the hinges and stuff is a little bit odd looking and you can get a graphic designer to touch this up. But one thing I really loved was the bow that it added because this is really important. It can actually boost your click through rate if you are selling a product that is very commonly used in gifts. OK, so the hero image is actually the easiest one. The harder ones are the infographic and lifestyle. Let's get into the template for those. OK, we're going to get into the lifestyle now. And by the way, guys, if you like this kind of content, make sure you like and subscribe. We cover this kind of stuff all the time on this channel, plus keeping up with the latest Amazon news. The lifestyle images template is as follows. Create a square format lifestyle image featuring your product and name, measuring the dimensions of your product. The product should be shown in use by this is really important, guys. The target customer profile. Make sure that you inform ChatGPT these things. It's literally got the knowledge of humanity in it, so it can create something based on the customer profile within a realistic environment and then label your environment, kitchen, living room, outside, wherever it is. The purpose of the scene is to showcase the purpose of your product, right? So for me, in my case, which I will show you in ChatGPT soon, is a showcase a watch collection. The scene must convey a certain mood, so it can be cozy, joyful, luxurious, productive, emphasizing the emotional experience or benefit associated with the product. 
include any props or complementary items, only if they enhance authenticity and help contextualize usage. The product must remain clearly visible with true-to-life colors, proportion, and positioning. Do not modify the product in any way. You must follow the exact product size and description as provided. No structural changes, color alterations, or unrealistic as embellishments are allowed. Avoid artificial or overly staged compositions. Aim for natural interactions, believable scenarios, and visual storytelling that resonates with the target audience. Okay, so what does that look like in ChatGPT? I'm sorry, this is such a this is such a wordy video, but unfortunately, with prompts, you need to be detailed, otherwise, they suck. Uh, so I gave it this reference image of my product. And then I adapted the template of the prompt that I had just said. Okay. So I added in the dimensions and then the product should be shown within a realistic environment, such as a modern desk in a bedroom that belongs to a Gen Z or young millennial, millennial ages, 25 to 30. And the, sh and the scene is set to showcase the watch box showcasing luxury watches, such as Rolex, Cartier and Omega. Okay. And then I also identified what I want included in the scene, such as uh, a cozy office space with modern furniture, text, such as modern looking headphones, iPhones, and plants, emphasizing the emotional experience or benefit associated with the product the product must be remain clearly visible and the rest is the same and then it kind of made a little error in the sense that one it didn't make the shape of the product really well and it didn't do the product packaging actually included the product packaging what it shouldn't have so what to do in this case is re-upload your reference image and do the exact same prompt all over again i didn't change a single thing actually i did change one thing sorry make sure you use the attached image as reference do not use any other image as reference from your chat histories right and then i redid it and it came up with this issue kind of identifies the first limitation which is that if you have a different shape to a product that has a uniform, uniformly common shape, for example, watch boxes are usually squares or rectangles, whereas mine is like tilted display like this, it can sometimes recreate just an image of a product that it already knows, not the one you gave it. And if that happens again, literally just do the exact same thing again. Okay. And sometimes you can modify the prompt to adjust for it. So I did that here. Notice also that the box is not a flat square and has a tilted display. And once I gave it that, it did a really good job. Okay. So now it has the proper shape of the box. The props around it are fantastic. The lighting is pretty good. I think, I don't think this is the best image. I think I would change it and give it more detail on what kind of scenario I would like it on, like maybe on a computer desk, things like that. Um, but overall it did a pretty good job. So that's how the lifestyle images would look. Okay. Now the next are infographics. Now infographics are definitely its hardest one. Um, it's not particularly great on the things that you need to write because it's not particularly good with text. By the way, guys, as you create this listing, even if it's amazing listing, you need to use PPC to get your product in front of customer eyeballs. And I just recently launched a product. It's uh, click through rate is actually around 2%, which is pretty good, I would say. And uh, basically I set up all of my PPC strategies using this book right here, it's called uh, Ultimate Guide to Amazon Ads, Advanced Tactics and Best Practices. It tells you how to do keyword research, how to set up your campaigns, what to bid, what to budget. And it gives you the best shot at basically launching your PPC uh, career in Amazon. And it is fantastic. So if you want to learn more about that, you can actually get that completely for free in the link in the description below. Here's the template for an infographic image. Create a square format infographic for your product name and type measuring the dimensions intended for use on the marketplace product listings. The product should appear in a lifestyle background scene located in a certain setting, kitchen, garden, bedroom, workspace, etc. Obviously use the setting that is most relevant to your product and must be clearly integrated and visibly dominant within the composition. The layout must visually highlight the key feature or benefits using icons, text callouts, arrows, or zoom ins to draw attention. So key features and benefits are obviously what your product is going to be apply brand colors or style guidelines so this is something that your brand colors would uh, use use hex codes consistently throughout the image the infographic should follow the infographic formula ensuring that design vi remains visually clean emotionally engaging and easily digestible here's the purpose of the product okay and then here you type in the purpose of your product here's the pr product's purpose don't include it as a text in the image just for the lifestyle context and then here you write the purpose of your product. Do not modify the product in any way. So the purpose of that is getting ChatGPT an idea of what like the use case of the product is so that it can kind of line up the feature benefits that you're giving it to put in as the infographic. You must follow the exact product size, shape and appearance as provided. No structural changes, color alterations or unrealistic embellishments are allowed. The image must reflect true to life product proportions and realism. Now, I did mention that this is the hardest thing for ChatGPT to do. It took me quite a few tries to do this. So this is the reference image I gave it. And then I adjusted that template to include all of these, I included the hex codes for my specific brand colors, which is emerald green. The features that I told it to highlight were real wood, and I told it where to highlight them outside the box. The tilted display for the side of the box and tempered glass for the lid, okay, using the various icons and things. And this is what it came up with. I, it has like the right idea 
obviously but as you can see it, it's kind of all over the place where it comes like real wood it it did real wood the best i would say but then tilted display it zoomed in on some random location and just kind of filled something in in the circle tempered glass again right idea it obviously is trying to show the glass but it didn't do a very good job and then there's this random zoom in that isn't even correct by the way um, it's showing the side of the watch box but it's pointing to the brown desk the infographics are definitely its uh, most limited use case but i kept on trying it kept on trying it and it kind of what it was really good for was kind of creatively using different ways to showcase the features and benefits so i loved how they how we came up with using like this log logo to describe real wood i think that's a brilliant idea that i might actually implement um, when i adjust my listing next um, so i did it one more time and overall you know it's trying different angles but it's not very good at doing the infographic images but what it can do is if you run it a bunch of times it can give you really good ideas to actually showcase your features and benefits and then i kept on going with creating lifestyle images right just refer back to the template and adjust it as you need so this time i wanted to showcase a man in his 50s giving the package to his son who was 25 as a gift both must express happy emotions and this actually did a pretty darn good job okay the logo is not correct per se and the font is not correct so i would get a graphic designer to adjust that but the models are fantastic like this is exactly like what my uh, avatar would be so as you can see it is actually pretty good so that's kind of the example of all of the prompts that you can use to create these images. And if you want the prompt, we will give them to you completely for free by clicking the link in the description below. Uh, and in exchange for your email, we'll happily give you the document that I was reading off of for the templates of the prompt. Just use them appropriately and repeatedly. Don't get frustrated. Always test and adjust. OK, but before, you know, you guys go crazy with the prompts, I should explain to you some limitations of it because it's not perfect. We're almost there. I would say we're 90 percent of being able to use AI generated images, but there's 10 percent missing. So the first limitation in no particular order is it's not good at using arrows to point out specific locations and images and it's not good at zoom ins like exactly with these uh this arrow is not coming from the right location and it didn't even do write the text properly tempered glass instead of tempered glass real wood like all of these zoom ins they're not good they're they're not informative so i would say that like the infographics what you can do is create a lifestyle images but then give the image to a graphic designer or use do it yourself in canva to um, actually do all of the text involved in the infographic the text has to be simple if you have a complicated product like for example you are selling like a box like this and it has all this small text right this is like my road mic as you can see it's got all this small text it's not good at adding text doesn't spell it right sometimes as you can see inside of 10 per glass it says 10 per glass another limitation is that sometimes the image just sucks i had to recreate a bunch of images for certain things like for example it was having a hard time creating the box as a tilted display it kept on making the flat box flat box looks great too if it was its own product but that is not what i'm selling right so you do need to recreate the images um every single time every time you get a, a false output next complex brand logos it just can't do it literally can't do them. It makes it all weird. It doesn't use the right line designs. It doesn't use the right color sometimes. And it certainly does not get the right shape or the name of the brand properly. And products that are complex with a lot of different details are not great either. So this is the same watch box and it's trying to recreate the watches inside. Now the watches inside are, require a little bit more fine detail. But this watch right in the middle, this black and gold one, it has three hands for some reason. And obviously it's not supposed to. At the top left, it's it's kind of like all blurry and kind of warped. Uh, same with this uh, pink rose gold one. So anything that's like really complex and has a lot of different moving parts or different parts and different shapes to it, it's not very good at recreating. And last uh, limitation, it is absolutely horrible at uh, creating dimensions of the product i'll give you an example so i wrote the dimensions in and these are all wrong it's not eight inches across how could it be eight inches across there but then only seven inches across in the front it's th this 3.3 should be the front and the five inches should be the height of the back so it doesn't put it in the right spot the arrows aren't even lined up with the length of the side that it's measuring so it's horrible at actually this might be its worst feature is that it's absolutely horrible at uh, showing the length of the size of the box uh, so those are some of the limitations but what you can do is generate those lifestyle and infographic based images and give them to a graphic designer or do them yourself in canva just adjust them as necessary and that will save you a lot of money than getting full-on product photography right just being able to take pictures with your phone uploading a chat gpt using the prompt templates that we just gave you and being able to create lifestyle images for a graphic designer to modify little bits and pieces and the fine details it will save you uh, like hundreds of dollars so those are the the prompts and the limitation but let's 
go through some general tips to apply no matter what product you have, no matter what images uh, you're trying to generate, whether it's the hero image, infographic or lifestyle. So first, do not use what ChatGPT generated as a reference image. It's like photocopying a photocopied image. It just doesn't work. Each rendition is a little bit worse than the last. Something's a little bit off. So do not use uh, ChatGPT generated images when you want to regenerate input the same reference image again and copy and paste the same uh, prompt that you just use with minor changes to kind of fix the thing that was the problem in the last image. For anything that's different about your product than what the product would be as commonly known, like for example, my watch box is normally a square or a rectangle. My watch box shape is kind of like that tilted display, which is not normally what watch boxes are. You will need to clearly indicate it in your prompt. Otherwise, it's going to use its gigantic large language model database to understand what a watch box is that way and then recreate what it already knows about your product. The other thing is sometimes if you've talked about your product with ChatGPT already or have uploaded images of your ChatGPT with other chats that you've had, uh, it can sometimes try to reach into those other chats for a reference point. You can tell it to not do that. Tell ChatGPT to not reach into other chats as references for the images if you think that might be uh, causing it to think of your product in a different way. When you're adding models or avatars, be very specific of the age group and demographic. Be very specific, man, woman. It all makes a very big difference on how, what kind of avatars and models it uh, kind of generates. And if you want to include your brand colors for the infographics, be very specific about the color and include the hex code. When I say specificity about the color, I mean what is the name of the color. You can't just say green and then give it a hex code. Say emerald green and then give it the appropriate hex code, okay? And finally, I, I know I didn't do it in my examples, but I should have. You can say generated in the same dimensions and requirements as required by Amazon, but be specific. You know, tell it 920 by 1080. You need to be able to be very specific. You can just Google what the Amazon images requirements are. And when you generate an image, tell ChatGPT's prompt to do it in that way. All right, guys. But that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful and I hope these prompts help you. Even if your product is too complicated for ChatGPT to do, um, what you can do is use it to generate lifestyle image ideas at the very least, right? But hope that was helpful. And if you want more guidance on how we can take your brand to the next level, check us out here. If you're an Amazon seller that wants to grow your Amazon profits, schedule a discovery call in the link below. We are an Amazon agency that helps our clients grow their revenue and their profits and optimize their PPC. And that's it for this video, guys. I will see you on the next one. Take care.